Alright, what's good y'all? So, I'm about to break down the sample, get more of a little complex loop today, get more sounds, you know. So first, I'm just gonna play the sample. So yeah, let's get straight into the breakdown. So start off with this chord progression right here. Here's the pattern. It's it's very very simple. Th these two are a perfect fifth chord, so we get the D sharp and the A sharp up here. So the middle note right here is the minor. Like these three together becomes the D sharp minor. Pitch these two down. This is the root note plus the middle note one octave up. And I just play the A sharp again because I like the little rhythm thing. I don't know. It just sounded nice when there was an extra note coming in right here. And same thing here. This is the like same chord but five semitones down. So one two three four five. But instead of keeping the perfect fifth note right here, it's the root note again, but up here. So it's the A sharp. So it's not a perfect fifth, it's just the root note twice right here. And then if we look at these top notes, it should be an A sharp minor, but I made it A sharp sus four chord instead. So yeah, so the first preset, so it's a tape rooms by Spitfire Audio. It says by Peter Fint. With this one, it's a, it has some really cool sounds. I just wish there were, were more keys and stuff in this bank, but the sound quality of these sounds are super crazy. I went with the echoes of organ pad. So there's the hella pads in this one. So that's the first chord progression. I didn't add any effects to this. I just kept it as it is and I tried to layer it. So the next sound is this one right here. So it's kind of like a synth VR, and I got it from Analog Lab. It's from the Bloodline Bank by Noah Cuz. I went with the Realm Arpeggio preset. And as you can see, I just copy pasted the chords. Here's what it sounds like. It sounds cool, but it was too fast and it was coming in too many times. So I added a half time just to slow down the ARP a little bit. I made it wider with the stereo imager and added some reverb as well just to make it more spacey. And after that, it sounded like this now. So after that, I just bounced off the chords right here. Right before the next one hits right here. Right there, I just chop them up so it gets completely silent after the first like arpeggio. After that, I added another sound. It's this one right here. Just another layer. I'm going to show you the presets. It's uh, from Analog Lab. And I also got this from Noah Cuss. Bloodline Bank. Catatonic preset. Evolving keys. And I just copy pasted some of the notes of the original pattern. And here's what the pattern sounds like. Uh, I added some effects to it though. I start off with a chorus Juno. Light chorus preset. A magnet verb by Eventide is the company. But here's what it sounds like with the effects. The magnet verb by Eventide really adds the like uh, spacey notes here after in the in the release, you know. After that, I did the same thing again. It was kind of too much to have it like this. It was kind of too much, so I just chopped them up as well right here. Now these also gets completely silent right here. And now for the next sound, I, I was just listening to this and looking at the wave files a little bit. And it was like a lot of stuff in the beginning and then everything just faded out right here. So I wanted to add another sound around this area, you know, but I couldn't find any cool presets. It's from the Medusa sound kit by my boy Infinite and the Mike Fuego. And it's the Accent Plucky by Mike Fuego right here. I just dragged it in, changed the pitch, you know, place it right here. Instead of finding a VST, I just threw in a little accent. Here's what it sounds like. After that, I went to the same kit again, uh, the Medusa sound kit. Found this little texture. Just turn down the volume and place it right here. Now this one is from the Ether sound kit, the next sound right here. So it's just another accent or an ARP right here. So I went with the London ARP right here. Just dragged it in, pitched it to the right key. EQ'd out a little, little bit of the highs and a little bit of the mid highs right here. But here's what it sounds like together with all the sounds. After that, I got this right here, it's a bass line, and I got it from Xenology, it says the sub oscillator soft bass right here, I will just preview it.
So these two notes are just following the root notes and then I got these two transitioning notes just for some bounce, you know? And then the last thing I added is this guitar right here that I chopped up a little bit. It's from Contact and it's the Scoring Guitars Gravity Pack number three right here. I just went with the A minor pulse menu forward preset bank or whatever and tuned it to D sharp because we're in D sharp minor. And I just clicked in one little note right here. did this with an EQ, bounced it out like this right here, but then I chopped it up like this. I like guess you can see we got so many sounds coming in in the beginning. So I just chopped out the guitar and let it like kind of fade in right here. So that's the first section, the A part of the sample. For the B part, so basically I kept everything the same, but I removed the accent and the arc, and then I grabbed the guitar and I just dragged it in how it originally was played without any chops. So here's the second part. For the C part, I removed the layers right here. I kept this accent, but I only kept half of it. So I kept these two. I deleted the guitar completely and I got a new sound and it sounds like this right here. Just some synthy chords. I'm gonna show you the preset. It's from the Prophet 5 by Arturia, and it's the release preset by Wally Badru. Anyway, it's a stock preset. Here's what the patterns looks like. Just again, just layering. Basically, I, I use the same transitioning notes as in the bass line. I did add some effects to this though. So I copy pasted the old effects chain that I showed you earlier. So it's a chorus Juno, Manglet Verb, and some EQ. And now for the last little part right here, pretty much the same again, but I brought back the accent and I placed it out four times instead of two times. I removed the arp and I grabbed this little synth uh, chord progression that I just showed you, but I pitched up a whole octave. So here's the final like D part of the sample. Yeah, after that, after I had all these uh, four sections done, I just placed out all the stems at the end. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the breakdown. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, and yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace.